everyone, it's Sue the Reluctant Chef. I am going to make a quick snack before I get on a seminar and I thought I would come and show you our berry and bean and lettuce strainer. So I just put some strawberries in here and I wish them around for just a little bit. I'm going to show you what kind of floaties that you end up getting in your lettuce or your, can you guys see, let me see if I can take out this screen here, if you guys can see how important it is that you actually soak your berries and beans for a few minutes. Um, you can soak them in vinegar water. See how dirty that is? Can you see all those floaties? Disgusting. So you're going to drain that and then um, you can spin it in our berry and lettuce spinner. And the reason you want to use the inside part is so that your berries don't go flying um, and get all mushed. So there's a patent on this design and it will spin up to like, I don't know, 12 or 15 miles an hour. It can spin really fast for lettuce. Um, you don't want to spin too fast for berries because you don't want them to get all mush. And then you can lock it and then you can break it. And when you break it fast, all the water kind of just spins out. So once you've done that, you're going to take your berry and you're going to use your corn more and you're going to use the end and you're just going to take the top off so that you're not losing um, a lot of your berry. You're just taking just the tip off. And we're making a charcuterie board for a snack today. And we're going to take this and I love using the quick slice. This is a tool that I use. The quick slice and the simple slicer are probably two of my most used tools in my arsenal here. So you've got serrated blades. They come into a V shape so that you can cut things like tomatoes, strawberries, avocados, um, you name it. You could even cut an apple. I've done that before. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut my strawberries up. I'm going to add that to my charcuterie board over here. I wanted to try cheese um, just to see how that comes out. So just so you know, Cabot cheese is lactose free for any of you guys who are lactose intolerant. And um, I always joke when you're doing something a little harder, you got to get your little shimmy on, right? So you got to kind of, um, I'm short, so I'm standing on my tippy toes and you're going to rock it back and forth because the goal is to get the blades to line up with the slots. You don't want them to bend. And so they tell you not to use anything too hard, but if you rock it well, you're not going to worry about that. You're going to get perfect slices, just like you would get if you bought it at the store. So let me just show you my last tool because I got to get going. Oh, um, I got to do uh, my bell pepper. So we do a lot of stir fries in our household. And so if you're doing a lot of fruit trays or veggie trays, you can just quickly slice them up and use it in the cool and serve uh, for that as well. You see that you get consistent thicknesses, which is important when you're um, stir frying because everything will cook in the same amount of time. And then the last tool I'm going to show you is called our Simple Slicer. And anything that you can poke on these prongs, you can slice. It has three settings, one, two, and three, thin, thicker, and thickest. Always, always, always use the food guard. The food guard is going to keep your little fingers from being chopped off. Anything that is meant to cut from Pampered Chef will cut you. So make sure that you definitely use your, um, your safety guard. And speed is your friend with this tool, and you'll notice that I'll go until this piece fits all the way down inside, and then I'll move my hand from here to the top. And then I'll, here, let me move these out of the way, and then I'll finish my slicing. And um, I didn't core my apple, I just sliced it as is, because what you'll see is that the seeds will fall out eventually. So you can slather peanut butter on this, you can cut it in half and use it as a dip. I've got a bunch of great dips, so I've got to run because I have a seminar going to be on in about a minute and a half, but I want to come live as I was making my charcuterie board here. Let me dip this down a little bit so you guys can see. This is what we're having today. Can't wait to hear what your favorite snack is. Thanks for watching.